All right, this is uh, Arash from Android Cowboy, and today I want to do a quick um, video tutorial on ES File Explorer. Uh, this is a file explorer app that you can download from the Amazon App Store and the Google Play Store. But I want to cover it because it's been updated and it looks very different than what it was previously. And it's uh, really what uh, uh, we recommend on Android Cowboy to use for all your side loading apps and routing. And uh, since it looks kind of different, I really kind of want to go over it. So, usually when you open the app on the Kindle Fire, and this is going to be the same actually for any other tablet or phone that you have, uh, you're going to get this kind of view. You're probably going to be in your SD card. So, let's go over a few things of what you have on here. You can see the top here, uh, here shows you where you're at. So, that shows your SD card. Um, so, there's not a real SD card on the on the Kindle Fire, but there's a, what well, in essence is a virtual SD card. You notice there's also like another little tab here up top here I can show you where it says local and if you look at it um, there's actually uh, a couple of little things next to it and what those are is that you can actually um, swipe um, through different windows so as far as far actually has different windows and we're going to go over that real quick so here here you're on your SD card this is where you're normally going to see your pictures are probably under DCIM here if you want to look at your pictures that you've saved um, there is um, ES File Explorer. Uh, this is important. ES File Explorer creates a folder called Backup Apps, and this is if you back up your apps, that's where they're going to go. I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. And there's also download folders, and here I have some um, apps that you know I side I put on for side loading before, and that's kind of I like to keep that folder for that uh, specifically. So here it is. So let's look at what what we have here. So we have a navigation bar on the left. So this is uh, this button here on the top here uh, will let you go back. Um, you have uh, this is your history, but it actually does several things. This history, so if, if you do it, you can see that it shows you several things. Here you have option for SD card, device. Um, I just went through a few other folders, so it has that. So, uh, so that's uh, that's a good one because uh, one, uh, if you're trying to get to the root of your of your device to install, let's say, a system app. For example, um, if you want to install the Google Play Store, that might be one way to get there. There's actually different ways. Now, this here on the left here, this one, um, this actually pulls up the menu. And this is a really important menu here. You have a lot of different uh, tools here. So you can see you have favorites. So you can uh, put things under your favorites if you like. You have local. This is going to be an important one here. So you can see on the local, we have home, device, and download. So home will take you to basically your SD card, what we saw. And if you notice, when I just did that, there was actually a up top here is actually a new um, uh, a new uh, tab credit called local because that's because you can actually swipe. Uh, for example, uh, you can actually swipe through Windows as you can see. I'm gonna show you why that's pretty why that's useful. Um, and so one way to get to the root of your card is going to be this way. If you pull up uh, this menu here, if you do a slash device here on the left here, this one right here. Um, that will take you now to the root of your folder. And this is the root. If you have root access, this is where you're going to be able to go and do things. And one important one is actually system here. For example, if you want to install system apps, you're going to need to go into system here under apps. And this is where you can install, uh, for example, if you want to Google Play Store, this is where you're going to have to do. And then right here, you have the back button. You also have things like uh, sorting it. Uh, also, if you want to change the view, for example, you have a lot of options here. You can change it to large icons, for uh, for example. Um, I I kind of don't like that view. I personally, oops, um, I personally like um, sort of the small list, uh, sort of medium list, or the one that actually has uh, uh, some information. Uh, some information is so small with with detail. For medium with details, for example, it shows you file size. Um, and you also have a refresh, and uh, you can also sort obviously through uh, through different fields as well. Okay, so there's a couple of things. For example, if you're going to go into the root of your uh, SD card and install apps, one thing you have to do is make it writable. So, for example, if you go back to the root of this folder, um, what you want to do is actually pull up this menu again and and go down to the tools. And this is going to be another important one here. There's actually a thing called uh, uh, root explorer as you can see it's called root explorer and that will let you if you click on that now it lets you for example you can actually use this to to install apps backup apps you can see on for example it has uninstall system app and that only works if you have root access obviously this is for people who have rooted their phone but if you have it then you can do some of those things uh, I would obviously be careful you don't want to uninstall any app that, that you're not sure of but one thing that's important if you do want to install app you gotta go to this mount rw and here you want to make basically those paths uh, rewritable. 
uh, if you want to install, for example, vending APK in order to get the Google Play Store. That's one way to do it. You can also, another way to do it also, for example, on system, you can long click it on the bottom right here, go to more, um, and then we have properties here. And then down here under permissions, you can change those permissions um, as well. So that's another option that you can do. Um, but one thing that's uh, one thing that's nice also in here that you really want to probably know about is under the tools you have the app manager. So that manager is really nice because this is going to show all your apps that are installed. Now these are your user user apps. You can see up here actually maybe it's too small to see, but it actually says app user. Uh, but if you want to pull up, for example, uh, system apps, um, if you go um, if you hit this history button, you pull up this menu again. Now you can see here where it's nice. It says user apps, system apps. Things that are installed on the phone, things that are installed on the SD card. Uh, so, for example, we can hit system maps, and we can actually see all the system maps that are uh, that are installed. So that's really nice. Um, so that's a nice option. So let's go back to user apps. So one thing that's important, for example, if I want to, um, let's say, if I want to copy, you know, I want to copy this and share it. For example, you can long press on something, for example. And once you long press it, for example, you can now back it up. That's a good one. If you back it up, then let's move to back this up real quick. Okay, that's backed up. So where did it go? Well, if you go back, you can use this to go back to, for example, your, um, maybe go to your SD card, or otherwise would be, again, to go back into the local one here and hit home or SD card, whichever. I'm just going to hit home. And under backup slash apps, you can see now there's my APK. So now I can maybe copy that over. I can share it. Um, as you can see, as we were doing all this, you can see at the top here have all these um, icons that have showed up, and that's because every time you do something new, it opens up a new window. So basically, you can actually slide uh, back and forth between us. So you actually don't need to. So for example, if we opened up App Manager earlier. We can just go back to it by sliding. Here, there it is. There's the App Manager, right? Or if we opened up a certain uh, a folder, uh, we can slide back to it, right? This was the App uh, Backups folder. We can go slide, go back. Into it. You actually want to get rid of some of these. You hit the X button here on the bottom left. So if you hit X, it'll close these windows. And you do have a limit on these windows. After I don't know what the number is, maybe around eight or ten, it might it might um, stop you. But another uh, other very nice uh, feature, for example, that I've actually installed on here is network. So you can actually set up cloud drives. For example, Dropbox, Google Drive. So if you go to cloud here. Um, actually, sorry, I don't have it on this one. I have it on my phone. But you can set up your uh, you can set up your uh, cloud drive here, uh, for example, and once you do that, then it'll actually you actually copy it over straight uh, straight to there. Um, yeah, I don't have it on this phone, unfortunately. So you can add, for example, a new cloud drive. So I can, you know, you can add your, you know, Dropbox, whatever it is. Now, once you do it, what's nice is that once, for example, if you want to uh, copy an app that you just uh, backed up. Um, so let's let's X this out. Let's go back to, um, and again, if those folders you use a lot, you can you can save it uh, to your favorites. Let's go back home. Let's go to backup. I'm going to long press on uh, on this folder. I'm going to add to my favorites, so it'll be there. I'm going to say apps. That's fine. So now it's going to be in my uh, favorites folder. If uh, I want to pull that back up, there it is. So there is a, let's say I want to copy this over. I can long press it. And um, on the right here, you have copy. If you copy it, it, it copies it, and it also pulls up a tab. You can actually pull it up. And that's nice because uh, it lets you copy multiple things. So you can copy, if you copy multiple things, then it lets you copy them all at once. Or if you want to copy a single one, uh, you can do that as well. So there, is, there, there it is. So let's say I've copied that over. Let's say I want to uh, uh, add that to my Dropbox. If I had added my Dropbox there, uh, I could just go to network. Cloud Drive, for example, normally your, net, uh, net, uh, your Dropbox or your Google Drive will be there. You just go in there and hit Paste. You can either use the Paste button in the top right, or you can pull this tab and hit Paste. And that will paste it there. So no reason to even uh, use the Share button. It's really nice. Um, and it's really computer. And again, you, can, you, have these full, you have these windows you can swipe through. So if you were just in your Cloud, so if you were just in your local drive, and you just copied this file over, you can just swipe to your Cloud Drive. Uh, if you had that uh, previously open, you could just copy it over. So it, it, in some sense, saves a little time. But it is, it can be if you. This is the first time using it. It can be a little bit um, confusing. And here, this this arrow on the top left is actually a back button. This will t well, this will take you back.
And again, if you history, you'll pull up some of your um, history as well. So I think that's uh, most of uh, most of I think uh, things that are that are important on this. Again, this button here uh, is really important. It's the third one from the top left. This really brings up um, your really your lots of your navigations and especially your tools uh, where you can go to your app manager. There's also a, a system manager. Um, so we don't have there's no system manager installed. So we're going to say no here. Um, but um, again, uh, one of the nice things again is App Manager and this Root Explorer. That's going to be important if you're going to do that kind of uh, if you're going to do any installations, uh, favorites, uh, local. Uh, let lets you get to the device. Um, so there it is. Uh, I hope uh, hope you guys find this uh, tutorial useful. Uh, again, I, I highly recommend using this app uh, for. The Kindle Fire, and even on my on my phone, I use. I've been using it for actually for many years now, and I don't use any other uh, Firefox program. It's free. There are no ads. Uh, it's been like that for a very long time. Um, and it's a really good app. It uh, has root options. Um, so uh, give it a try. Um, and if you have any questions, uh, um, definitely drop a comment uh, on the on the YouTube video below here, and I'll try to respond. Um, if you like this video, please um, hit the thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to us. All right, thank you.